Cannabis Church of God. Today is June 4th, 2023. Happy Pride Month, everyone. And welcome to Sunday Service, where we preach about the holy healing plant, cannabis and hemp, God's gift to Mother Earth and our sacred sacrament. All pronouns, faiths, or faithless are welcome at Cannabis Church of God. We are here to end the stigma of the devil's lettuce and connect to better wellness personally, spiritually, socially, and for the planet. Whether you need connection to humanity or the universe or the great creator of your choice, or if you just need good vibes and to meditate with love and light, all are welcomed with green grace in this safe space. I'm your pot pastor, Casey. You can partake in the smokable or edible sacred sacrament of your choice at any time during Cannabis Church of God. Consume freely or don't. That's the point. It's your choice. I'm not here to bless the holy plant because the cannabis plant blesses our endocannabinoid system, though I do bless all my own cannabis personally. And it is blessed by God already just, you know all herbs and seeds. Anyway, let me pray. Hello, God. Grateful to be here. Thankful to be spreading some love for Pride and Pride Month and for the people of this planet and that need it and the plant and for you. And thankful for all the people out there living their true selves. And for those who are still trying to figure it out and those who have but are scared to come out, just know that you are loved and there is a community waiting for you. Amen, amen, amen. Well, it's Pride Month. And it's good to be proud. I'm proud. I'm proud of who I am as a human being and the way I treat other human beings. Some may object and, and say I'm a horrible human for supporting the LGBTQ community, but I've questioned myself at many times in my own life as well. So I understand that. And I continue to question myself spiritually and mentally and physically and emotionally as all humans have the right to live their true lives, their true authentic selves and figure that out. That's what we're here. We're here experiencing we are spiritual beings, whether you believe in that or not. We are energy beings. We are all human beings trying to figure it out and trying to figure out who we are during this crazy path of life without being subject to hatred because of who we love or who we identify as or what color we are or what religion we are or what part of the planet we are born or live in. So many people take pride in their religion. I take pride in my religion. This is my religion here. It doesn't preach about a God who wants destruction and wants you to go destroy each other and wants persecution? No. Instead, God gave us this plant that can heal the planet. You shouldn't be having pride in big oil and gas. We could be taking hemp and gas, hemp gas right there and converting that. It could be grown regionally throughout the planet while it's fixing the environment locally, the terpenes released from the hemp and cannabis plants help fix the ozone layer. The hemp cleans the water and the soil that it's grown in, okay? It's net 
carbon zero, actually negative because it can heal the planet. If we're doing this globally, but the big companies that everybody has so much pride in, they don't want that. Where profits are out the roof for every corporation across the globe, every major big corporation across the globe, profits are out the roof of their CEOs sitting on their asses just making tons of money for their shareholders to make sure the stock prices are good. Meanwhile, people are starving. People are barely affording their places they live in. If that, we can't get the homeless off the street. And you got an entire people just so proud of their guns. Meanwhile, it's their kids that are out there shooting the LGBTQ community because if you look at all the mass shootings out there, the majority of them are done by religious folks. One trans person ever recently committed a mass murder. Not drag queens. You got priests, the Catholic priests out there who have been molesting and taking advantage and raping children for decades, hundreds of years, with the blessing of the Catholic priests or the Catholic Church. Where's the pride in that? Your Jesus Christ doesn't teach that. Your Jesus Christ doesn't teach going out and harming people. Isn't about capital punishment. Meanwhile, Uganda has passed a law that was helped funded by right wings in the United States of America to outlaw being gay, making it a capital punishment by death even. Where's the love? Where's the loving God in that? Where's Jesus Christ's teachings in that? That's nothing to be proud of. These people are proud of who they are. They are full of love and proud to love themselves just as you should be proud to love yourselves. They're not getting in the way of who you are. And when it comes to kids, there are more kids killing themselves, committing suicide, unaliving themselves, Unaliving is the new word because death and suicide and killing yourself is, are two harsh words, but that's the truth. That's what's going on. If it's, they're not being killed by the public around them and by their own family members, they're killing themselves. So all the LGBTQIA plus community really wants is a safe landing space for those kids to grow up in. Because the majority of them probably didn't have a safe place to grow up in to learn who they were. Just as you are learning who you are growing up throughout your lifetime. How many 60, 70, 80 year olds don't even know themselves? Live an entire life not free thinking, just following the norms or what they were told were the norms, following what their pastors told them, their parents told them, voting this way, voting that way, left, right, both sides are fucking us. Nothing to be proud of taking those religions and putting your moral bullshit compass into laws is nothing to be proud of. Taking away the rights of these humans, these human beings and their parents and their parents' rights is nothing to be proud of. These parents deserve the right to be proud of their kids and have that pride. And all these people marching in these streets, having their parades, 
being happy, joyous, gay, living their most authentic selves, that's something to be proud of. Anyone who hates that, nah, that's not pride. And where does that fear even come from? You need to look inward. Why do you hate so much, fear so much, when there's so much beauty out there, so much to love? It's easier to find common ground and more to love about each other than it is to pick each other apart and hate. So take some pride in some love and some compassion. There's something to be proud of. Compassion and empathy and understanding. Not acceptance. Acceptance is bullshit because acceptance also, no, 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 no. Do you really accept them? Acceptance doesn't usually include understanding. And acceptance doesn't always have compassion or empathy. Come from a place with your heart, that's compassion, that's empathy, that's understanding. To really listen to what they're saying so they can be seen and heard. And then they can live their lives without bother, without fear, without fear from you. Mm -hmm. Fear from you, you people. You should be ashamed of yourselves. In Jesus' name. Fuck you. Amen, amen, amen. God bless y'all out there living your true, true selves. And it's okay if you don't know and you're trying to figure it out. Take your time. Don't worry about everybody else. God loves you for who you are no matter what anybody else says. Amen to that.